गोरे बने गुड इवनिंग वेलकम कैन यू हियर मी कैन यू हियर मी हेलो 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 यस ओके हाउ डू आई साउंड डू आई साउंड गुड डू आई साउंड सो सो हाउ डू आई साउंड कैन यू हियर मी प्रॉपरली हेलो वन टू थ्री ¿Cómo se escucha? ¿Se escucha bien? ¿Se escucha alejado? Good teacher. Good. Okay. Good teacher. Good. Very good. Thank you for your feedback. Okay, let's get started in a couple of minutes. Okay. Right now, today it is Monday 10th. Okay, Monday 10th. Let's start in two minutes. Two minutes. We're going to wait for our classmate. Okay, and then we're going to start. Good evening. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Miss Rosibel, welcome. Let's start in a minute. Good evening, teacher, last May. Hello, Miss Clarixa, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, teacher, gracias. All right, my friend, welcome to another English class. All right, let's get started. Open your manual. Okay, we don't have time to lose. Vamos a comenzar directamente. Okay. Okay. The class. Okay. All right. Well, uh, first of all, I need to take the attendance list. Go and look for your manual if you don't have it in your hands, on your hands. Okay, so today is Monday 10th. Let's get started. I'm going to start mentioning your name. If, if you listen your name, please say hi or present. Here we go. Alfredo Reyes, Carlos Alfredo Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Excellent. Maribel Ramos, Clarixa. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Calderón de López. Present teacher. Good. Um, Alvarado de Benavides. Present teacher. López González. Present teacher. Good. Guillermo Antonio Rugamas Melara. Present teacher. Thank you, mister. All right, excellent. Let's see. Eh, Santana González. Santana González. Tobar Ayala. Herrera Lucha. Herrera Lucha. López Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Alvarado Mejía. Present. Good. Excellent. Eh, Mejía Hueso. Present teacher. Good. León Rivera. 
León Rivera. Martínez Landaverde. Present. Castaneda Velasco. Castaneda Velasco. Romero Ayala. Present, teacher. Rosibel Hernández. Present, teacher. Good. Jonathan Herrera, teacher. All right. Thank you. Um, let me see. Asensio Arevalo. Present, teacher. Molina de García. Molina de García. López de Cabrera. Present, teacher. Excellent. All right. Well, welcome to another English class. Let's get started right now. Okay, here we go. Okay, like I said at the beginning, please open your manual. Vamos a, vamos a abrir el manual. Open the manual. And go straight to page, page 14. Ahora vamos a utilizar bastante el manual. Vamos a hacer un repaso de la unidad 1. Y recordarles que el final de esta clase o mañana finalizar las la tarea del 1 al, al 5 para poder tener actualizado su promedio. Ok, here we go. It says, describe an action plan to introduce a new item on a menu. Describir un plan de acción para presentar un, un nuevo artículo, un nuevo objeto en su menú. Y dice la pregunta, what would you do? What would you do? To introduce a new menu, menu item. ¿Qué harías para presentar un nuevo artículo, un nuevo objeto, un nuevo eh, asunto de, de un nuevo menú? ¿Cómo lo presentaría? What would you do to introduce a new menu item? What would you do? Okay, what would you do? Tell me, tell me. What would you do? What would you do to introduce a new menu item? ¿Cómo harían para presentar un nuevo artículo de su menú? What would you do? Okay, is there any volunteer? Hello, hello. What would you do to introduce a new item in your in your menu? Let's suppose you have a restaurant. Okay, and you create um, a new dish. Okay, What would you do? Tell me. I try. Okay. Um, Today I talk about about the new dish for my restaurant. It's a um, chicken onion, All right. for example. And the chicken uh, with sauce with onion and rice and some vegetable. All right. And, and garlic bread. Garlic. All right. Excellent. Okay. Well, excellent. Okay. Very good. Another volunteer, how, what would you do to introduce a new menu item? In my case, coach, uh, maybe I would do a video on TikTok. All right. And I add a little clip where I make a, a new dish. All right. And, and I um, y lo decoraría. Okay, yeah. with decoration. All right, excellent. Okay, very good. Yeah, I would I would do the same thing. Haría la misma cosa. Something similar. I would post my new dish on Instagram. Okay, and I would say, uh, if you see this this story, I will give you a discount. Something like that. Okay, haría como una una especie de publicidad en Instagram or or TikTok. Okay, y daría un poquito de descuento. Okay. Something random that I have right now. Okay, what would you do? ¿Qué harían para presentar un nuevo artículo, un nuevo eh, item in your menu? Also, give uh, a discount or a ticket with promotion. All right. Okay, discount. Good, excellent, sounds good. Very good, thank you. Okay, so it says, read the following strategies to introduce a new menu item. Check the box next to the strategies. You would, 
consider implementing. Okay, provide free food sampling of your new product. Add new items to your website. Use social network sites to share the information about your new products. Advertise the product in the white space of the recipe. Give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customers after a recent visit. Ok, ¿cuál de todas estas estra estrategias ustedes implementarían y por qué? Ok, strategies to introduce a new item in your me item menu. Number one, it says provide free food sampling of your new product. This is very common in supermarket. What would you do? Which one do you consider is the best? Use social network sites to share the information about your new product. All right. Good. Excellent. Another one? For me, uh, the number one, provide free food sampling of your new product. It's All a right. good idea. Excellent. Okay, provide free food sampling of your new product. Very good. Okay, anybody else? Someone else? The last one? Uh, give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customer after recent visit, maybe. All right, excellent. Very good, thank you, mister. Okay, it says. It says, what action or change will happen? Who will carry out? When will take the place and for how long? What resources are needed to carry out the change? Communication should, who should know that? Know what? Okay. All right. Okay, we're going to discuss the questions and we're going to do the exercise letter B. Okay, we're going to discuss the questions and develop the exercise letter B. Okay, here we go. All right.
Hello, are you done? Hello, Hi, teacher. teacher. Are you done? Estamos ahorita comprendiendo que son, verdad, teacher, que en el plan de acción son por orden de letras que vamos a, a contestar ahí. Yes, así Los es. Los pardos. Mm -hmm. yeah. Con las letras que están arriba, ¿verdad? Yes, sí. Ah. <ríe> Ah, pues sí, el primero dice que... Sí, eh, perdón, sí. perdón, perdón. El ejercicio de esa página es, usted tiene que ir escribiendo el número. ¿Cuál número, Tiche? El número que usted considere cuál es el primer paso, el segundo paso, el tercer paso. Oh. Mm. Estábamos confundidas, entonces. Sí, no perdón. es de acuerdo a las letras que están arriba que tienen las interrogaciones. No, 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 no. Ah, va, va, va. Ah, pues sí, gracias. Sí. Vale, les leo cuáles son. La número uno, la que aparece allí como uno, dice que la bebida estará disponible durante el Día de los Enamorados en una promoción que continúa hasta febrero. Vale, la número dos, que aparece ahí, dice el chef creó la receta de la bebida, el gerente la aprobó y el personal de publicidad Ah, es responsable de comercializar el producto. En la número 3, eh, el tablero publicitario y el personal se mantendrá en comunicación para realizar los trámites para completar el, eh, la introducción de la bebida. En el número 4, el gerente solicitó fondos adicionales para este proyecto. La bebida está hecha con hierbas que son algo raros, pero no son muy caros. Y la número 5, se va a introducir una nueva bebida en el menú. A los hombres. ¿Perdón? A los hombres. No, no. Vaya, acuérdese que estamos en un restaurante. Entonces, es como que alguien propuso lo que estaba pre, pre, diciendo eh, al principio del pitch. Pero no, no sé si tiene algo que ver con las letras o solo es con números. Teacher, eh, ¿hay Ay. alguna relación entre, entre las letras de cada pregunta o, uh -huh. lo, tenemos, o lo tenemos que enumerar? No, no, no. Eh, por ejemplo, hay que buscar el orden uh -huh. que debe de seguir toda esa serie de pasos. Ah, ok. Pero con, eh, no irían con, la, con las letras, sino que con números, ¿no? Así es, números. Ah, ok. Ah, pues la letter, esa letter C no, no la tendríamos que poner, este, Ceci. No, entonces. No. Ah, ok. Vamos a borrarla entonces. Teacher, what is funding? I'm sorry. Funding or funding? No, I don't know. What is it? The, the manager requests extra funding for this pro, for this project. And no, those three, four. And the number four. Funding, let me see. como un financiamiento como algo donde necesita dinero para poder proyectarse con esa actividad Funding. ah ok ok Thank you. está pidiendo recursos para poder costear 
No sé si me doy a entender. Uh -huh. Sí, teacher, gracias. Dice una nueva bebida. Introducir una nueva bebida en el menú. Ese sería el primer paso, ¿no? Ajá, porque dice que cambios. Que uh -huh. acción cambios debería de. Ajá, entonces es... o qué? Sí, ¿verdad? No. De que sucedan. Oh, entonces es la... La, ajá, a new, la primera sería a new drink is going to introduce to the menu. La uno, entonces. Uh -huh. Ok. Voy. Ok, voy a ver. Después dice... ¿Cuál es el segundo? En la segunda. La pregunta sería esa de manager requires extra funding. O sea, él, él necesita como buscar financiamiento para poderlo hacer. Okay. Entonces sería la dos veces. Ajá. Ok. Y la tres sería eso de que el chef create the recipe. O oh, recipe, claro, ¿no? Quiero ver, el chef debe crear un recipiente para la bebida y manejar. Ajá, y lo debe de aprobar el manager. Okay. Okay. Ah. Y advertising, que es? Esa es publicidad. Ah, sí, dijimos, ¿verdad? Y publicidad de la responsabilidad del marketing del producto. Ok. La cuarta. Quizás esa. La, la tres. La advertising. Ajá, advertising board. En staff will stay in communication. Ok. Y la cinco es esta. Va Ajá. Vamos a ver. No sé si lo hicimos bien, Karen. No, yo creo que es al revés, fíjese. O sea, Segura. Ajá, porque dice que la publicidad o, o, o como la promoción va a estar durante el día de San Valentín. Entonces eso es lo primero que, que como manager propone, ¿no? Y luego hay que lanzar la publicidad con esas fechas y todo, ¿no? Ajá. Entonces. Al revés. La cuatro arriba y la cinco abajo. Ok, la cuatro. Creería yo que sí. Igual para mí la segunda sería la B. ¿Cómo? La segunda sería la B para mí. Igual para mí. Ok. Ahí está, pero aquí, aquí lo tengo ahorita, aquí está el todavía. Baila, sí, sí. Will it take place? Mm. Will it take place in for how long? Ah, uh, me falta. ¿En qué nos anda? Ah. Creo que la sé, compañero. Hola, hola. Sí, sí. Ah, perdón, tenía desactivado el micrófono. Sería la... la... La C entiende que dice... Eh, cuando está disponible... Eh, ¿Y por cuánto tiempo? Entonces la C dice... The drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. Entonces no hasta... Pero sería una... La primera. Una primera. Ajá. Sí, la primera. Okay. Ajá, primer paréntesis. El, sí. Entonces, sí, yo también había pensado ya allí en la primera también. Sí, está ahí. Ver, la cuarta. Necesito balas de gancho. Well, resource uh, needed to carry. Resources como. Recursos, creo que sería, ¿verdad? ¿Qué recursos necesitan para llevar el cambio? 
Ah, me pareció leer que necesitaban este visto para eso. Para que necesitaban un fondo. Ajá, sí, dice que necesitaban una financiación de. En la cuarta. En... Sí, en la cuarta, pues. Yo también creo que en la cuarta, porque dice the manager requests extra funding for this project. No. The drink is made with herbs that are somewhere rare. But they're not very expensive. Ah, no, pero. No, bueno, yo sí creo que es. Aquí en la pared lo tengo. Extra funding. La cuarta que Es en la pared que está al otro lado, disparen. Entonces sería la, la Dever. En la cuatro la D, este. Sí, la, la D. Sí, la D. Y la última. Dice Communication. Usur Nahuat. La casa está arriba. ¿Quién debería saber? Arriba está de la casa. ¿Qué? Ya. Yeah. Pues you, you know. You know what? You know what? Bueno, aquí la que nos queda nomás, pero no le no hay mucha lógica la que nos queda. Ahí sí. Ah, abrime. No le hay mucha lógica con esa última. Bueno. Es que la, la B, la B dice, who, quién. Who, who, who carry, carry it out. Carry out. Y la D dice what resource, o sea, ¿qué necesita para hacer el cambio? Puedo hacer. Ajá, y en la B está, está como quién, quién iba haciendo cada cosa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Como quién lo llevará a cabo, algo así. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces yo lo tengo mal. No, pero me vino. Aprovechemos el teacher que están ahí. Tell me, tell me. Who, uh, we have the, the answer in letter B, who, who will carry out uh, for us, the check rate, the receipt, what is the pronunciation? What number, I'm sorry? Uh, letter C. Letter C. B. B. B as in, B. who will carry B. it out? Yes. Uh -huh. Who will carry it out? It, but for us, the chef create the, what is the pronunciation in this, this the word? The chef create? The receipt? Create. Create. Yes. Create. 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 We have a different in letter B con a eh, no, no, second or no, number four. Four, four. The manager requests extra funding for this project. Pero en esa parte lo que tienen que hacer es colocar el número de cómo consideren que, se, que es el orden correcto. ¿Cuál creen que es el paso? ¿Cuál es el primer paso? ¿El segundo? Acá. Number, this, it says number the following steps on each action plan. Number. Hmm. So here you have to write the number. Which one do you consider as number one, number two? Es que number one is the new green. I'm sorry. 
A new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Eso sería number one. Ay, que nosotros okay. entendimos la indicación de que era poner las letras A, B, C, D, O, E en, esa, en ese espacio. Uh -huh. Este es que este es, son los pasos para crear una presentación de un plan de acción para un producto nuevo. ¿verdad? Entonces, después dice que hay que crear number, enumera la siguiente, los siguientes pasos con el plan action. Entonces, ¿cuál de todo esto creen que es el primer paso? Ya lo dijo Miss, Miss Sandra, if I'm not wrong. She says, she said, a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. That, right? That's number one. Mm -hmm. Second, for me, the chat creates the receipt. For the dream, the manager approved approve of it and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. No, no. Se second, the manager requests extra funding for this project. The dream is made with herbs that are somewhat, somewhat rad, but they are not very expensive. No, estamos haciendo las cosas no, no correcto. No, exacto. Okay. Tenemos que evaluar nuevamente la, la... Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. uno. No. The first is a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. La segunda sería... Esa es la primera. Yes. La segunda sería the chef creating. The Something chef... Okay, welcome. Well, now uh, we're going to solve the exercise together, exercise B, where we have to, well, you have to, to type the number according to your opinion in which you consider is the logical order to present a new item. For example, number one, what is the, the first step according to your opinion? The last one. The last one. This... A new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Okay. This one, right? Okay. Yes. Agree or disagree? Do you agree or disagree? 
de, están en acuerdo o desacuerdo? Agree or disagree? I agree. You agree. Okay. Agree. Number two. What is the step number two? What is the step number two? The manager re recuse extra funding to for the, this okay. project. Request. Request. Okay. Can you repeat after me? Request. Request. Exactly. Requiere o está pidiendo. Request. Agree or disagree? I, I agree. Agree. I agree. Okay. Number three. What is the step number three? The chef create the receipt. The recipe. The recipe. The chef create the recipe for the drink. Good. For? Advertising for and staff will stay in communication to carry out the steps to steps. complete the, intro the steps to complete the introduction of the drink. And eventually, thank you, Miss Claudia. The number five. Okay. The drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. Okay, excellent. Okay, here you have this exercise. Uh, Mr. Herbert, can you read number one, please? Can you read it? Just read it. Uh, first parenthesis. parenthesis. I'm sorry? Uh, read the, the first parenthesis. Okay, read the first parenthesis. Yeah, the, the, this one, this one, this one. Okay. Uh, ah, okay. A new drink is going to be introduced to the, to the menu. Excellent. Number two, Miss Claudia, please. The manager requests Extra funding for this project. The drink is made with year that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. Excellent. Number three, Miss Sandra, please. The chef creates the recipe for the drink. The manager approve, approve of it and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. Excellent. Okay, responsible. 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 Good. Uh, let me see, number four. Number four, Miss Cecilia, please. Okay, teacher. Advertising board and staff will stay in communication to carry all the steps to complement the introduction of the dream. Very good, okay. To carry out, carry, carry out. To carry out. Excellent, and eventually, Mr. Manuel, number five, please. The drink, will, the drink will be available during Valentine Day. And I promotion that continue uh, through February. All right. Okay, through. It says through. Through. Through, through. February. Through. Through. Okay, good. Promotion. Go forward. Promotion. Promotion. Okay. Available. Ava available. Exactly. Available. Disponible. Available. Okay. Good. Thank you, mister. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Here we have a conversation. A conversation. And it says, Luigi. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, 
but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green paper sticks that never sell. Then customer will get the green paper stick and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside, outside the restaurant giving free example, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay. All right. Is there any question? Is there any question? Green peppers. You know, do you know what green peppers are? Okay, well, eh, acá está un modal verb. Son palabras que, que tienen que ser entendidas. Bueno, aquí esta frase, hook them up. Esto es como atraparlos, engancharlos. Hook up. Hook viene de gancho. Ok, de gancho. Entonces, como lo up, el object pronoun sería hook them up, atraparlos. Si dijera hook her up, es atraparla. Y si dijera hook him up, Sería atraparlo a él, ¿verdad? Hook them up. Okay. Also, we have discount. I guess you already know what discount is, right? Como un descuento. It's understood. Okay. Eh, save cost. Ahorrar costos. Save cost. What else? Spicy. Do you know what spicy is? Spicy. Picante. Picante. Picantes, right? Así como... Eh, como las spicy girl spicy girl <ríe> hay un grupo bueno había un grupo que se llama así spicy girl ok also we have what else do we have spicy menu ok pizza no es pizza es pizza como una t pizza las dobles t en inglés suenan como t pizza all right what else do we have here Uh, about promotion activity at the restaurant, you know you could discount. Ah, este es could, sin la O. Could, could, could. Okay, no es cold, tampoco es cold, es could, you could. Una U, un poquito cerrada y larga. Could, could. Okay. Um, what else we have here? Okay, let me see, discount, sale. Do you know what sale is? Sale. What is sale? Vender. Vender, vender. okay, el verbo vender. Very good. Okay, well, we're gonna have Luigi outside. You know what outside is? Fuera. Fuera, muy bien. Fuera. Fuera. Okay. Um, sample, free sample. Free samples. Muestras. Muestra, Muestra, verdad? Muestra gratis. Muestra gratis. Very good. Excellent. Okay, this conversation is a little bit uh, long. Poco larga. Okay, we're gonna practice. In case you have any question, let me know. We're gonna work in trios. Teacher. Teacher. Tell me, tell me.
to introduce a new kind of spice pizza to the menu. We worked in action plan, but we need to have costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green paper sticks that never sell, and customer will get the green paper sticks. And you could then you could then add with the spicy pizza. I didn't. Think, think mm -hmm. of that sounds like a good I, I, a good idea. We might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or the baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who Pouch a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will tell you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free sample about the isn't, isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Well, you you. Okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy. Fix it to the menu. We working in an action plan, but we need to save cost and get customer to try the new product. How about promotional activities <laughs> at the restaurant? You know you call this code the green paper sticker that never sell. Then customer will get the green paper stick and you hold the hold the own hold the own with the spice pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You may want to have a, pro a promotional activities close to a big event like a concert. Inside of the restaurant giving free, free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spice pizza to the menu. We, we work in action. Plain, but we need to save costs and get customer to the to three the new product. How about promotional activities at the at the restaurant? You know, you you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. I think customers will will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spice piece. I didn't think of that. Sound like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. People offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh, my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free sample. But they isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Boy, boy, uh, yeah. Luis going to introduce a new, a new, no, Luis is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza. To the menu. We work in an action plan, but we need to save cost 
and get customers to try the new product. Never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think for of that. Sounds like a good idea. idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh, Mike, I will call you later. Which is outside the restaurant giving free, free samples. But he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay. Ahora empiezo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Sí. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan, but we need to save cost and get customer to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know you could discount the cream pepper sticks that never sell. Then customers will get the cream pepper sticks and you hook them and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sound like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You mm -hmm. could offer... ¿Cómo? Event. Tickets uh, for the event. A um, concert or a base, baseball game. Ahí dice. Aquí donde dice Sanders... Uh -huh. dice ticket for the event. Ah, pero no he llegado ahí, ah, pero <risa> Creo que antes lo pronunció. Aquí, aquí está. Eh, ah, event. Uh -huh. ah, uh, <risa> activity close to a big event like a concert event. or... Event. Uh -huh. Esto, aquí. Es, es que se dice aquí. event y es event. Ah, 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 ahí. Activity close to a big event. Like event. a cons event. <laughs> <laughs> event. Like a concert or baseball game. You could offer a, dis a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Event. Oh my, I, <laughs> I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free example, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Event. <laughs> no se le va a olvidar, No, como cuatro veces. Event. Okay. Ahí le toca acá. Con, ok, ¿con Rosy. quién? Con Rosy. Oh, ok. ¿Inicio yo, Rosy? Sí, 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 como quiera. Luigi is going to introduce a new kid of speak. Pizza, uh, pizza to the menu. We working in an action planning, uh, but we need to so customer and the yes. customer uh, to treat the never product. How, how about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper stick that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper stick and you hook them hook them up with the spice 
si pizza. I do not think of the so like I go idiot. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, <laughs> like a, a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. <laughs> oh my, I will call you later, Luigi. Is Oh, this which is out, outside. Oh, no. oh, it, oh my! Uh, I will call you later, Luigi. Is outside the restaurant Green We finished the shirt. We finished the shirt. Are you done? Are you done? Yes. Good. Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. Hello, coach. Are you done? You're ready. Yes. yes. Good. Okay, just let me double check the other groups and we're going to be back. Okay. Okay. And you cook them up with a spicy pizza. Okay, uh, I didn't did all that sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to big, a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Okay, and oh my, uh, I will look, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, uh, but he is in telling people the pizza is super spicy. Luis is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but we need to save cost and get customers to try the new product. All about promotional activities at the restaurant, you know, you could discount the green pepper stick that never sell 
Ten customers with the category people still you hot them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, you might uh, want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a um, baseball game. Uh, you, could, you could offer a discount to Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All yes. right. Well, welcome. Uh, I was with some of your classmates practicing the conversation. Now uh, we're going we're gonna to choose some volunteers to read it. Okay, let's begin with Mr. Herbert. He will be, uh, let me see, Carla. Carla. Uh, let me see, Miss Sandra. She will be Sanders, and I'm going to be Mr. Ready. Okay, there we go. Three, two, one, action. Okay. We're going to introduce a new kind of uh, spicy pizza to the menu. We're working on an action plan, but we need to save cost and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That is Miss Sandra's part. I'm sorry. Yes. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? 
you know, you call this found the green pepper stick that never said. Then Cosme would, would get the green pepper stick and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good, good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. You hello, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. No sé si terminó, pero. Yes, I finished my part. <laughs> Is oh my, I, I will, oh, I will call you later. Luis outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he's telling people that he's a super spicy. Super spicy. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, but at the end, I, I couldn't hear you well, but however, good job. Okay, just the pronunciation of, we need to reinforce the pronunciation of discount. Discount. Can you repeat after me? Discount. 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 Sounds. Discount. Sounds. Sounds. Spicy. 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 Okay. Might. 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 Okay. Ya vamos a ver el uso, en, el uso de might and could. Okay, vamos a pedirle a Miss Claudia, si puede ser Carla. En... Okay. Let me see, Miss Karen, can you please, could you please be Mr. Sanders, please? Okay. Ready. Okay, there we go. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work it in an action plan, but, but we need to save cost and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper stick that never sell. Then customer will get the green pepper stick and you hook them up with a spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free sample, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. All right, well, we need to reinforce, okay? We need to reinforce the pronunciation of worked. It has, it has a T at the end. Worked. 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 Okay, also, worked. if the letter begins with a, if the word be, begins with an S, okay, the pronunciation S is spicy. Spicy. Okay? Sí, porque spicy. como latinos, nosotros le agregamos la E, ¿verdad? Eh, spicy, pero en realidad cuando comienza la palabra con S, comenzamos con el sonido spicy. Spicy. Like stop spicy. to stop. Nosotros decimos eh, stop, pero la pronunciación sería stop. Stop. Ok, but good job. Let me see what else. Um, ok. Here we have given, given free samples. Given free samples. Okay, given free samples. Given free samples. Very good. Okay, and the last one, because we don't have enough time to... Okay, how about Mr. Luis Landa Verde? Can you, ple can you please be Carla? And let me see, I need a volunteer for uh, Mr. Sanders. You need a volunteer? Me, teacher. All right, thank you. Okay. Ready, Mr. Luis, company? 
Okay. Okay, three, two, one, action. Luis is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. Have a lot of promotional activities at the restaurant. You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who book, booked a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luis is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. All right, there is a word that is, is it is kind of tricky, un poco eh, difícil, es event. Esa comienza con una I. Event. Event. Different events. Event, okay. All right, good. Okay. Vamos a completar las oraciones. Okay, it says, so look at the conversation and complete the sentence. Okay. Look at the sentence, complete, complete the sentences, please. Number one, what it is number one? You? Could. You I'm could. sorry? Could. You, you could. could offer, right? You could offer. Okay, can you please read the complete sentence? You could discount the green pepper stick that never sell. Excellent. Number two. You. You might, you might want to have a promotional. You... Continue, continue. Can you please repeat it again, please? You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event. Excellent. Okay. Esa palabrita, ok, might, sí, tiene que sonar un poquito de la T al final, might, might, porque está may, que es, sim es similar, ¿verdad? May y might. Ok, en number three. You will offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. 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 Event, thank you. All right, excellent, excellent job. Ok, eh, let's continue. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a ver un poco sobre la, la diferencia entre could y might. La clase de anterior les dije que existen los modal verbs. Modal verbs o los verbos modales. Los verbos modales son aquellos okay, que tienen sus propias reglas eh, para hacer la negación, la afirmación y la pregunta. Ok, y que al utilizar estos modal verbs en el presente, eh, eliminamos las reglas, por ejemplo, de agregar S o S a los verbos, o de negar con doesn't o don't. Al contrario, tienen sus propias formas de negación. Por ejemplo, could, la forma negativa es couldn't, eh, para hacer la pregunta, únicamente cambiar la posición, como todos los verbos, los verbos, moral verbs. Ok, en el caso de could, tiene do doble función. Puede ser el pasado de can, como yo podía. I could run super fast. Yo podía recorrer super, oh, muy rápido. I could read. I could jump. Podía saltar. I could jump. Ok, I could. All right. Pero también se puede utilizar para un contexto más formal. O para sonar un poco polite. Que okay, para sonar como usted podría. You could use. Ok, you could. You could. You could tell me. Tú podrías decirme. Ok, está en un contexto en el presente que suena más refinado. Ok. Ok, could. Y might es un modal verb también. Un verbo modal que se utiliza 
y que se antepone a un verbo para expresar posibilidad. You might want. Tú podrías querer, podríamos traducirlo, porque no hay una traducción exacta. ¿Ok? Pero al ver esta palabra, might, se refiere a una posibilidad. O sea, que no estamos 100% seguros. Por ejemplo, it might rain. Podría ser que llueva o, o lloverá. ¿Ok? It might rain. Ambos po significan posibilidades. Se pueden utilizar con todos los sujetos. ¿Ok? Y eh, se suena más polite. O para, como dice aquí, to make formal suggestion, para hacer sugerencias formales o solicitar algo de una forma formal. Ok. Ahora. Eh, teacher, disculpe. Que dijo que el, el verbo es también un verbo modal. I'm sorry, no, no le escuché muy bien. Es significa posibilidad. Bueno, creo que la Miss le está fallando el inter porque no le escucho nada. Hello, Miss. Hello. Ok, I, I guess she is out. Bueno, quizás la señal de su internet. Ok, but here we go. Ok, uh, remember, could it is for possibility as same as might. Ok, complete the sentence using could or might. Compare your answer with your classmates. Okay, here it says, used to make suggestion, might is often used with one or like to add politeness. Okay, vamos a hacer el ejercicio 5. Okay, ejercicio 5. Could and might. Exercise five. Exercise five. Okay, be careful with your micro microphones, please. Extra sci-fi, let me know when you finish, please. Finish.
Are you done? No yes, yet? Teacher. Good. I'm done. Excellent. Remember, done. might is often used with want or like to add politeness. Okay, como eh, sonar más educado. Could puede ser utilizado para hacer sugerencias, to make suggestions. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Okay. All right. Okay, number two, we could drive a car covered in propaganda around the city. The bus <clears throat> the bus might well, might might exactly excellent the sale team will try will try could try Good. the manager the manager might, might. like might might, might. might. Mike, very good, excellent people. The event, the event cool. 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 good, very good. The store, might, 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 might. The store might, excellent. Ok, very good, exactly. Lo que aquí la clave es, ya que ambos significan lo mismo, bueno, tienen la misma función, que es eh, posibilidad. Uno es para sonar más educado y el otro para, o para pedir o sugerir cosas. Ok, la clave es que might usualmente va, a va eh, después de might, va a un verbo como like or want. Okay, pero ambas tienen la misma intención, mostrar eh, posibilidad. Ok, now we're going to do exercise six. Ok, eh, public, publicity stunts, estas son como estrategias de marketing. Ok, estrategias de marketing. Eh, publicity stunts. Ok, bundling. ¿Alguien sabe qué es bundling? No, no sé. Ok, bundling okay. son como estrategias de eh, marketing, por ejemplo, que lo hacen que compre más de un producto, que por ejemplo que se le dice, ah, está el 2 por 1 o compre 3 y le damos 4, esas eso son estrategias, o sea, llaman bundling. Teacher, bundling. y eso es lo mismo que dice en la 3, donde dice bundle up. ¿O qué significa ese, esa frasecita? ¿En cuál misión? En la 3 de arriba donde dice The Sales Team Try to Bundle Up en la que acabamos de hacer. Ajá. The Food. Uh, ya. Yeah. Bundling. Eh, también, bueno, esta es una estrategia de ventas donde le hacen que compre Dos productos, eh, tres, compre, pague dos y se lleva tres. Ok, y también se refiere a un tipo de empaque. 
Okay, bundling. Eh, public relations, creo que está claro. Loyalty offering también. Y sampling, creo que es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Como una muestra, sampling. Okay, we're going to try to do this exercise, exercise number six. Exercise number six. Okay, and we're gonna do exercise seven. Okay, exercise six is easy. So we're gonna take advantage of the time. Once you finish exercise C, we're gonna try to do exercise seven. Six and seven, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, Bundling. Bundling. Let's move to Mr. George. Miss Claritza is here, number three. Carlos no puede compartir. Permíteme, Marito, voy a ver si puedo ahorita. Gracias. We see. Okay. Subí un poquito, por favor. Es el cuadro este, ¿verdad? Vamos sí. a hacerlo. Sí, y la parte siete también. <risa> Ah, este, ¿qué va? Sí, ahí está bien. Bueno, la publicidad de stand sería la donde dice offering several product. Ajá. Sería la A. Y la de abajo, la que dice Professional Maintains. En la es... a Planet Event. La B. Le repí. Sería a Planet Event de cine. El último, entonces. Yes. El último. Sí. Uh -huh. Y esa que dice professional, 
Eh, de, de, el SS, donde está el cursor. El Professional Ah, el Maintenance. C. Sí. Loyal Clip Offering. De... Compañeras. Pero en la, en la tercera línea dice offering several, several product, products for sale as one combined product. Entonces, entonces ahí es, es una combinación de productos en uno solo. Y, y ese es lo que explicó el último, uh, la última vez. El volumen. ¿Cuál es? Ay. La B. Ajá, la, la tercera línea. Ajá, esa dice que es la B. En la B. Pero según lo de la tarea, ¿no? Y Con están la plataforma. las están las mismas. Pero, bueno, no sé si a alguien le pasó, pero creo que en el grupo a, a alguien... Alguien contestó la, 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 o sea, el, la tarea y estaba mala. Sí, O sea, tiene varios errores, pero son este de, de sintaxis, no, no son de, de, de significado, no a nivel de significado. Okay. Entonces, sí. y cuando me pusieron como. Entonces quedarían, quedarían, entonces, ¿cómo sería el orden? Sería la A, sería la 5. La B sería la 3. La letter C is 4. And letter D is 1. And letter E is 2. Ajá. Y de ahí solo tenemos que hacer la, la, la 7 ahora. Dice, you are a new manager. Uh, The manager could offer uh, sample samples samples. Mm. La otra podría ser Cool Offer um. Cool ¿Mm? Ese sería Cool Offer Ajá, como podría ofrecer uh -huh. Mm. Loyalty offerings. ¿Cómo sí. se llama? Uy. Promocional, vea. Sí. Offer loyalty offerings. Mm. ¿Qué más? ¿Cómo ser? sería? ¿Cómo se podría hacer? Podríamos... No sería Bar
Promote products on the social, solo social network, póngale. On the, ante the network, social. Acá U. Uh. Ah, sí. Sí. Ajá. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, no, Podría ser también offer, um, así como ofrecer que. Que el cumpleañero coma gratis. ¿Y qué se le iba a decir? Que yo le iba a hacer una prueba, nomás de, así como en los supermercados, que Ajá. una prueba así de poquitos nomás. Ese creo que es el offer samples de product. Exacto, el offer free sample. Ajá, free, ajá, free samples. ¿Cómo sería, teacher, eh, ofrecer que coma gratis el cumpleañero? Eh, oh. Free birthday sample, podría ser. Offer free birthday sample. Okay. Or offer, let me see, the, let me see. Offer. Let me double check. I have a doubt. Okay. Oh, the birthday person, free dish, or oh, plato libre, free dish for the birthday person. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Are you ready to say like six, right? Mm -hmm. mm, también sí, podría... <laughs> no, la regamos. <laughs> Por ahí está el teacher. All no, right. Ha venido a ver. No, no, Todo. This is the main room. Bueno, contestamos el número 6, teacher. Ok, good, excellent. Solo okay. estamos haciendo el número 7. Ok, déjenlo, de, déjenlo ahí. Poder. Déjenlo ahí. Vamos a compartir con la compañía. Ok, so you have number if a sampling for you is to promote a product by distributing samples of it. Okay, agree or disagree with their, your classmates. ¿Están de acuerdo o en desacuerdo con su compañero? Sampling letter E. Agree, agree or disagree? Yes, I agree. Okay. I agree. 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 Okay, your loyalty offering. It says personalized incentive. Yes, agree. I agree. Good. Agree. The relations. The prof. The professional maintenance of our favorite Okay, good. Uh, let me see bundling. A plan and design attract the public exactly. attention. And eventually, letter A offering several products for sale. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Who has extra who has exercise seven? Who has exercise seven? 60% second ditch. I'm sorry, Mr. George. 60% second ditch. Okay, 50. Sí. Okay, 50% for second ditch. Ah, good. That is a good bundling, a good strategy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, another strategy that you found or that you want to share with us, people? Okay, I think, I think it's really... We have better dishes. We, better dishes? Uh, 
we we could we could get a, a promotion now in for second second dish uh, on um, fifty percent. Okay, fifty percent. Excellent. As okay. a second dish. Sec the second dish. All right, good. All right. Uh, another volunteer who wants to share the strategy. Give free samples. Free samples. Okay, that is very excellent. Good. And hang out flyers. Okay, flyers. Okay, like pizza, McDonald's, they use a lot of flyers. Okay, well, uh, in the last one, who wants to share the strategy? The last one. <laughs> Customer card. I'm sorry. Frequent customer card. Okay, good. Okay, a card for people that that usually visit you. Okay, you a price the loyalty. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, it's time to mention your names. Once you listen to your name, say hi or present, please. Eh, Carlos Alfredo Reyes. Hernández Sotelo. Cecilia del Carmen. Present teacher. Present teacher, perdón. Thank you. No worries. No worries. Maribel Ramos. Present teacher. Present. Calderón de López. Present teacher. Concepción Mariana Alvarado de Benavides. Present teacher. Marina. Marina, I'm sorry. Jesus, I'm apologize. Okay, uh, Daniel Eduardo Lopez. Present teacher. Guillermo Antonio Rugamas Melara. Present. Unes Mineros. Santana. Present. Okay. Santana González. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Um, Tobar Ayala. Present teacher. Herrera Lucha. Present teacher. Lopez Orellana. Present teacher. Alvarado Mejia. Present. Mejia Hueso. Present teacher. Leon Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Martinez Landaverde. Present. Castaneda Velasco. Luis Enrique Romero Ayala Present teacher Good Hernández Rosibel Present teacher Asensio Arevalo Present teacher Molina de García Present En López de Cabrera Present teacher Good, okay Let's stop right here With the class Remember to finish the homework from unit one. Okay, las actividades de la uno a las cinco, completarlas si es posible ahora o el día de mañana, por la mañana, por favor. Okay, para tener sus promedios listos. Okay, have a good one. God bless you and good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. 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 Good night,